In this situation, the victim will not have a pulse and will not be breathing. Their hearts will not be cycling blood throughout their body and their lungs will not be giving them adequate amounts of oxygen. Because of this, we have to compress on their chest to act as if we were their heart and give them breaths to act as if we were their lungs. For the adult, child and infant, we give them a combination of 30 chest compressions and two breaths. When performing compressions, we need to make sure we have proper position, proper compression rate and proper compression depth. For the adult, child and infant, we're going to be compressing at a rate of 100 compressions in a minute. For the adult, we're going to be compressing down about 2 inches. For the child, we're going to be compressing down a little less, about 1.5 to 2 inches. And for the infant, we're going to be compressing down even less, about 1 inch. To achieve proper compression position for adult or child, Place the palm of your hand in the center of the victim's chest and grasp it with your other hand. Have your knuckles off the victim's chest, elbows locked with your chest over the top of their chest. Compressing down about two inches, remembering to do 30 compressions, just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. To achieve proper position on our infant, we're going to place one hand on the top of the victim's head and two to three fingers in the centre of the victim's chest below the nipple line. Using the pads of your fingers, remember to compress down by about one inch, doing 30 compressions and two breaths. 